What if I told you the electric vehicle race is already over and China quietly took the crown? While the world was busy watching Elon Musk and Tesla steal the headlines, something extraordinary was happening behind the scenes. The biggest players in the EV game aren't American or European anymore. In fact, over 60% of the world's electric cars are now made in China. That's right. China surged ahead with brands like BYD, NIO and XPEN leading the charge. Just to give you some perspective, last year BYD sold over 3 million cars, while Tesla just 1.8 million. But here's the kicker, it didn't happen by chance. China's rise to EV dominance was a result of smart government policies, control over critical resources like lithium and relentless innovation. In this video we will dive into how China raced ahead and why Western automakers are struggling to keep up. China's journey to becoming the global leader in the electric vehicle was no accident. It was a result of a carefully orchestrated government strategy. The foundation of the EV boom can be traced back to the early 2000s when China faced severe issues such as air pollution, oil dependency and urban congestion. Seeing EVs as the solution, government didn't just wait for change, it actively created it through a series of smart policies that transformed the EV landscape. In 2009, the new energy vehicle program was launched and it proved to be the game changer. This initiative provided massive subsidies not only for manufacturers but also for consumers, making the production and purchase of the electric vehicles much more affordable. Billions were poured into research and development which fueled the growth of EV manufacturing hubs across the country. Simultaneously, China built out the world's largest EV charging network, with over 5.8 million charging points by 2023, addressing one of the major barriers to EV adoption, the lack of infrastructure. However, China's strategy went far beyond just incentives and infrastructure. The government secured control of over the critical resources like lithium and cobalt that are essential for battery production. By dominating the supply chain, including major lithium mines in Sichuan province, China gained a significant cost advantage over Western automakers who were forced to pay inflated prices for these materials. Additionally, China's vertical integration in battery production meant that it could produce up to 70% of the world's EV batteries, ensuring the lower cost and tighter control over EV supply chain. This well-rounded approach offering financial incentives, building essential infrastructure and controlling vital resources paved the way for China's dominance in the EV market. By 2021, China had surpassed Germany to become the world's largest car exporter. China's rise wasn't just about solving environmental issues, it was also about establishing itself as a leader in the future of transportation. In short, the Chinese government helped establish the world's best player in the electric vehicle market, leaving other countries, especially the western ones, far behind. Chinese electric vehicles have captured the global market due to their rare combination of cost efficiency, technological innovation and supply chain control. Government support and control over the key raw materials allow Chinese car manufacturers to offer cars at significantly lower prices than their western competitors. For instance, the BYD Dolphin Mini sells for just $21,000 in Mexico, while a comparable Nissan Leaf starts at $29,000 in the US. This price gap is a game changer, especially in the markets where affordability is the main purchasing factor. However, it's not just about price. Chinese automakers have mastered vertical integration, allowing them to control every step, from key material extraction to battery production. This allowed them to streamline production, cut costs and maintain independence from external suppliers, an advantage most Western automakers cannot match. In terms of innovation, Chinese EV companies lead the charge in battery technology. Take NIO, for example, which has introduced battery swapping technology. This innovation allows drivers to swap out batteries in minutes, solving the problem of long charging times, which Western automakers still struggle with. Another shift is happening in car design. While Chinese car manufacturers were once criticized for copying Western companies' designs, nowadays Western companies are adopting some of the Chinese designs. For example, the Volkswagen ID4 has been compared to BYD's sleek streamlined models, illustrating the way the roles have flipped. With futuristic designs like the NIO ET7 and BYD HAN, Chinese automakers are now setting global standards in both form and function. After securing dominance in the domestic market, Chinese automakers have expanded globally with impressive success. Brands like BYD, NIO and XPAN are making significant progress across Europe, Latin America and Russia. In Europe, where demand for low emission vehicles is rising, Chinese manufacturers have found a receptive market. Chinese brands have become popular in markets such as 
as Germany, the UK and Norway. People fell in love with Chinese EVs because they provide affordable and high-tech alternative to brands like Tesla. Meanwhile, in Russia, the story is different. With Western automakers pulling out due to the geopolitical tension and sanctions, Chinese brands like Geely and Cherry have taken their place. Their affordable models appeal to budget-conscious consumers, while luxury Chinese brands like Zikr have captured the interest of Russia's wealthy class thanks to their advanced technology and premium design. Despite this success, Chinese automakers still face significant barriers entering the US, mainly due to the high tariffs and political tension. However, companies like BYD are finding alternative ways entering American market. One of them is forming partnerships in Mexico. With a foothold in Mexico, Chinese car manufacturers could make bigger move entering the US market. While Chinese EV industry is searching, Western automakers like Ford, Volkswagen and Tesla are finding it extremely hard to keep up. One of the main issues is high production costs. Unlike Chinese companies like BYD and NIO, which have mastered vertical integration by manufacturing everything in-house, Western automakers still heavily rely on third-party suppliers for crucial components such as batteries and electric motors. This dependency significantly increases production costs and put them at a competitive disadvantage in the global market where affordability is key. Another challenge lies in the rising cost of raw materials like lithium and cobalt that are essential for EV batteries. This gives Chinese automakers a considerable cost advantage. Without control over their supply chains, Western automakers are forced to sell their EVs at higher prices, making them less competitive in the global market. Finally, there is an issue of charging infrastructure. China has invested heavily in building a vast network of over 5.8 million charging points, ensuring that consumers can charge their vehicles easily. In comparison, the US is falling behind due to a lack of sufficient infrastructure to support widespread EV usage. Without a well-established charging network, many Western consumers are reluctant to switch to electric, further reducing their competitiveness of Western automakers. With lower production costs, bad raw materials and superior charging network, China has positioned itself as the leader in the EV sector, while Western companies are struggling to keep up. Chinese automakers aren't just competing on price anymore, they are leading in innovation. Xpen is a prime example, heavily invested in autonomous driving technology, already testing level 4 autonomous driving, where the car handles nearly all tasks without human intervention. This puts them in direct competition with Tesla's autopilot and Xpand is catching up really fast. But Chinese EVs are about more than just autonomous tech, AI-powered infotainment systems, augmented reality dashboards and voice-activated controls are becoming standard. Take Neo's AI assistant, Nomi which learns user preferences and adjusts the car settings automatically, transforming driving into a highly interactive experience. On the design front, Chinese automakers have flipped the script. Once being criticized for copying Western designs, they are now the trendsetters. For example, BYD's Han EV features futuristic lines that blend elegance with bold curves, setting new standards. Neo's ET7 has a minimalist, sleek design that rivals Tesla's Model S. Volkswagen and other Western brands have even been compared to Chinese ones, such as the ID's for similarity to BYD's clean streamlined aesthetic, showing how China has become the trendsetter in global car design. It's clear that Chinese automakers are setting the future for the global EV market. Brands like BYD, Neo and Xpand are expanding rapidly, particularly in Europe, where BYD has even overtaken Volkswagen. Volkswagen in some markets. As sustainability becomes more important, Chinese electric vehicles with their affordable prices and advanced tech are becoming more and more popular. The next big goal for Chinese manufacturers is of course entering the US market. While high tariffs and political issues have slowed direct entry, companies are finding some workaround like BYD that is forming partnerships in Mexico to get closer to the US border. In short, if Western automakers don't adapt quickly, they risk losing more and more market share to the Chinese EV giants. With improvements in battery technology, self-driving systems and affordable materials, China isn't just catching up, they're taking the lead, pushing the industry to change faster than anyone expected. The key question remains, will the West catch up? China's electric vehicle revolution isn't slowing down and other players will have to work hard to keep up. With government support, control of crucial resources and relentless innovation, Chinese EV manufacturers have created a blueprint for the future of transportation. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe to my channel for more interesting content. And if you are looking to scale your business, 
business with AI and automation, check out my agency Future Chat. I help online businesses grow by building advanced sales funnel that help you sell more products or services online. Thanks for watching guys. See you soon. Thank you.